Hello and welcome to Don Pablo and Poncho65 and everybody else on the Multitool.org forums. Uh, good morning, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. My name is Daniel Bryant, uh, Dan B on the forums. And you guys were asking about these, uh, the old, uh, the Quark Tacticals uh, from 4.7s. And as you can see, I, I kind of like these a little bit, I guess. Uh, they're really, they're well thought out lights and... A lot of the stuff they did was, it was simple, but it was really good. Um, for example, uh, getting, getting into some of these, I've got the owner's manuals here, and these are, what, one, two, three, four, including that, different lights that they had. Double A, uh, CR-123A. Two double A's and then a pair of CR-123 A's. And if you look in these manuals, you will see that these electronics and these down here are all the same. So if I look at the one double A battery, it will tell me that the operating range of this light is anywhere between 0.9 volts to 4.2 volts. The single CR-123... CR-123A or one RCR-123A, which is one of these guys, also known as a uh, 16340 lithium-ion battery. Again, 0.9 volts to 4.2 volts. And if I go into the, uh, the 2AA, it's going to be 0.9 volts to 4.2 volts. So... The electronics in these heads are all the same. And as such, it can use... Any of these heads can be powered by something for down... All the way down the, the voltage scale to a, a rechargeable AA battery. Which these are coming in at a 1.2 volts. To a CR123A, which is going to be a 3 volt battery. Or... Either of these lithium ion, lithium ion batteries, which is the 16340 and the 14500 for the two different uh, diameters there, as well as the two double A's. So these are all swappable. You can take one off of the double A, put it on the two double A, put it on the CR 123A. Uh, there's really there's there's no difference. Uh, the CR-123 does have this pocket clip built into the head, whereas everything else has it built into the uh, the body. Speaking of which, the bodies are are done in such a way that they're threaded the same. This is a, a double a, single double A body. The threads are exactly the same on the fore and aft end. So what you can do then is you can choose whether you want to carry tail cap up or head up simply by taking these off and flipping them around. Um, and they had they had different options for the uh, the pocket clips. They had a a regular one. They had a, a deep deep carry one. Let's sit down a little further in your pocket. It was, it was really, really good stuff, really well thought out. Um, I tried earlier and it didn't show up real well, but this, this light here is actually a warm tinted LED. They also offered a neutral tint. The rest of them are cool white, which kind of has that, that bluish hue that LEDs are somewhat known for. So getting into what I like about these, the, the two things that I... When I want a light, I, I primarily want one of two things. I either want really bright and really far, or I want just just barely enough. And and these would allow me to do that because what they they had was the light would actually register the difference. Um, so real quickly, you notice these threads here are not coated. That's deliberate. So if you look inside of this head, you'll see the threads here are also deliberately not coated. And then you look in 
in there and there's this uh, brass, copper, what have you, ring around the head. I, uh, let's see, can I get that, get a good shot of that. You guys can kind of see that. There we go, there we go. See that copper ring in there. And what these were doing, at least to the best of my knowledge, was they were, the circuitry in here was noticing the difference between electricity coming through the threads versus electricity when this was screwed all the way down into the body, and this right here contacted that copper ring. So then that would give it two different modes. You could have the head tightened all the way down to contact that ring, or you'd have it loosened. So you can set these up so that I have really bright max output with it tightened, and then almost nothing at all. Uh, they have a moonlight mode, which, let me check real quickly, was, I think, like, 0.2. Okay, this one says 0.3 lumens. It's just enough to to see what you're doing, to move around by. Um, I use it every morning. I get up and try not to disturb the wife and kids when I'm getting ready to go to work at way too early in the morning. And I love it. I love being able to know what that light's going to come on, what mode is going to come on in, and choose which mode it's going to come on in simply by uh, twisting that head. It works great. I have yet to find another light out there that has that capability. I've found some that have... Uh, you, can, you can know what mode it's going to come on in because that's what the one you left it in last, but I really haven't, uh, haven't found anything else that gives me that. The other thing is that I, I really was introduced to high-performance flashlights in the military. I, from 03 to 07, I served in the U.S. Marine Corps, and one of the things that we learned was how to use a light uh, tactically. Uh, how to use it to hide your movement, to fake movement out, to disorient, and of course to identify targets at, uh, tar friend or foe, whether that was actually a target or somebody you were not supposed to shoot. And so, I really appreciate this tail switch here, where you can, you can have that instantly crazy bright max output, and be able to do manual strobing, I could get into a whole thing about why it's better than a strobe mode, and but I won't get into that. That's a big rabbit hole. So anyway, uh, to to program these, you turn it on, and you tighten and loosen the tail cap. I forget how many times. You don't really have to know how many, because when you get into programming mode, it'll do that. It'll go to the dim setting, and then it flashes. So now I'm in programming mode and I can go low, or moonlight low, medium, high, really high, and then it goes into, I think it's an SOS, and the disco mode, you know, throw people into epileptic seizures and all that. And I can't remember what, uh, I guess it was a beacon in there somewhere too. So I'm going to leave it, I've got my, my headset loose, and I'm going to let it remember moonlight mode. So all I do is leave it there and boom, flash, 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 it tells me, hey, I've, I've memorized moonlight mode. Whenever you go to loosen that tail cap, it's going to go from crazy high to moonlight. Which brings me to the one annoying thing about the older ones. Uh, these have it, the later, uh, the Quark X did not have it, which would be this one and, and these two back here. So I'm going to turn this off. Let's see if I can get it to do it. I tightened it. I'm going to loosen it again. Boom! That was pre-flash. It's a, just a really bright flash when you were expecting a really low, uh, almost nothing light. Um, it's annoying. It's um, really... Uh, any, any number of ways that could be not good. Uh, but the later ones did not have that. So if I go from if I go from my crazy bright on this one and I drop it on the moonlight, it's just moonlight. 
Just that tiny bit of light. Um, so later one solved that problem. And getting into why I was really, really excited to get these two, uh, the last generation before, like I said, all the legal shenanigans went down, is that these, if look at the, I think this was a later but not into the X series generation. This one has, it's a the uh, 2LX, so the 2 lithium or CR123A, and that has a max output of 230, 230 lumens, excuse me. Uh, I think they, they later raised that up. The uh, This X-Series lists the, the two CR123 as having uh, 360 lumen. These heads have a burst mode, which is... Back then, they didn't have lights that could be on constantly at, this is 700 plus lumens. Uh, now we do, but now we've got lights that are doing the same thing with, you know, I've got one that does uh, 1,200 lumens, and it will do that for a little while, and then either on a timer or on a temperature sensor, when it can no longer safely do that, and it's coming up on risking damaging the light, it'll drop that output down, um, in this case, to 360 lumens. But it gives you a crazy bright... Um, 700 plus lumen in, and this one has a fairly decent throw pattern, I don't know, you probably can't see that on the camera uh, but it's not nearly as dispersed as another light that I have that does something similar so really, really awesome I love it, it's probably my favorite flashlight and of course it's no longer made so I was really happy to get these two last uh, latest greatest of them now I mentioned that these are these are all essentially the same light which means you can Lego the ever loving snot out of these things and you can do something really cool where you take the the double A uh, single double A body and load that up with a um, a 14500 lithium so we're running 4.2 volts at the top all the way down to you know three ish uh, whatever it gets to when it gets almost completely discharged and use so this uh, the two CR one twenty three A or the the two L has a operating range of three volts all the way up to nine volts so you can actually stack two of these on top of each other at a max voltage nominal voltage of three point seven max voltage of four point two and you're still within the operating range of of these heads. So in this configuration, it's uh, jokingly referred to as the noisy cricket because you have a tiny little light with all the output of the larger um, 16650 or two CR123A lights, um, which is kind of cool. So anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed that, and see you around on the forums.